That shooting caused some raw nerves here at Bradley Airport tonight, too. One plane full of people took off from Fort Lauderdale, headed for Connecticut just before the shooting started down there. News 8's Bob Wilson live with that part of the story tonight. Bob? Yeah, Darren, you know what? As people still landing here, taking off, there's a flight that uh, took off just about, or was supposed to take off just a couple of minutes ago. They're in a holding pattern, and people are on edge. There's a lot of nerves here because when you're flying into Fort, La uh, Fort Lauderdale and they see what's been going on there on the news, they're pretty uh, on edge. I want to get out of baggage claim. Travelers just touching down at Bradley International Airport from Fort Lauderdale uneasy as they were airborne only minutes before the shooting started. Check my phone and my partner showed it to me. I was like, holy, wow, this is happening. And uh, then you just kind of don't think about it and, and keep going. And then my phone is blown up, you know, everyone checking to see that I was okay. And, but no, it's scary. It's really scary. It could be anyone, you know. Others in Connecticut trying to get to Fort Lauderdale saw the shooting on TV. Some were even checking social media and websites to find out the news as they were in line to board their flight to Fort Lauderdale. And then immediately after we started looking yeah, at the yeah, news and uh, obviously got a little freaked out. I bet. And do you yeah. feel comfortable flying today? No. Definitely. So what did you do? So we, uh, we canceled our trip. Chris Yusinski, thankful he booked the afternoon, not the morning flight into Fort Lauderdale from Bradley. Or he says he may have been collecting his bags as the shots rang out. But you kind of always think, you know, if, if I was there, what would happen? And, you know, that was the terminal we were supposed to kind of go into. And, uh, you know, you never know if it was supposed to be you. Um, so, you know, it's a scary to think about that. And while there's a heightened sense of anxiety at Bradley, there's also a heightened sense of security among the TSA. State police troopers patrolling both inside and outside the airport looking for anything out of the ordinary. We have troopers in, uh, in, in marked vehicles. We make sure that there are no unattended bags, uh, no unattended vehicles, that no one's parked any longer than they should be outside. And then inside, we're just a presence. And it's not only state police, but it's also airport workers as well. We talked to one guy, Bert, who uh, is constantly going up and down the concourses, uh, taking people here and there. And he says, I'm keeping my eyes out. Everybody needs to be vigil because it can happen anywhere. And if you have a flight going to Fort Lauderdale, as the system returns, tries to get back to normal, you definitely want to check with the airline ahead of time because things are subject to change very quickly. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live at Bradley International Airport, News 8.